Today, we will be discussing the basics of organ rejection. But before we do that, we must first understand a little bit about the immune system. The immune system functions to protect your body against all foreign bodies, which include bacteria and viruses. But how does the immune system work exactly? The immune system recognizes the presence of bacteria or viruses by identifying specialized proteins on their surfaces called antigens. If the immune system detects a threat, it activates an immune response which attacks the foreign body. Now let's talk about organ transportation. Organ transplantation is often the only treatment for end-stage organ failures. In Canada, there are over 2,000 organ transportation surgeries every single year. However, the demand for donor organs continues to outnumber the supply as thousands of Canadians remain on the waiting list for organ transplants every single year. So what exactly causes organ rejection? All tissues in your body possess unique antigens that help identify themselves to your immune system. However, when someone receives an organ transplant, the antigens on the donor organ are recognized as foreign and thus an immune response is initiated which eventually leads to the rejection of that organ. As mentioned before, this process is normally reserved for fighting bacteria or viruses, but in this unique case, the immune system starts attacking the donor organ. There are three different types of organ rejections, all of whom vary depending upon how long it takes for the donor organ to be rejected. First, there's hyperacute organ rejection, which happens almost immediately. Second, there's acute organ rejection, which happens after a few weeks of receiving a donor organ. And finally, there's chronic organ rejection, which happens over a long period of time, typically years. After hearing all of this, you may be wondering, how can someone prevent organ rejection? Currently, the most common way of preventing organ rejection is through immunosuppressant medications, which artificially suppresses your immune system. Moving forward, the future of organ transmutation looks very bright. Currently, there is research being done which looks at the possible alternatives for organ transportation, which may completely eliminate the possibility of organ rejection. The first is stem cell generated organs, which uses the recipient's own stem cells, which have the ability to differentiate into any cell in the body to replace damaged cells of an organ. The second is bioartificial organs, which use artificial materials to substitute the function of a deficient organ. Since these artificial materials do not have any antigens on their surfaces, the possibility of rejection is practically eliminated. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching, but please be sure to subscribe to the Demystifying Medicine YouTube channel for more videos.